Now we are going to update our JavaScript file and then here uh, so I think we'll need to get the name of the permission so we already set the value property so we need to get this permission so as you can see we're able to capture the permission name so next uh, he would be get the value and then we'll store the value in an array and then we'll add an element in our form hidden element to store these permissions so for now let's add an empty array and then we're going to push the permission name to that variable make sure we add this so let's try to remove uh, the duplicate so we use the filter function um, so this it return our true false of just console or lag the permissions um, so push is not defined so here um, let's just use script as you can see here report So as you can see so here we need to return um, duplicates or return true or false so this will remove all the duplicates in the array so refresh view dashboard view report view so it doesn't work so let's try to add it inside a new variable let's try to log unix so now as you can see So it's, we'll have the data dashboard view report view. However, we need to fix on how to remove them. Um, let's do a code restructuring. So once we remove it or unclick, it should be removed also in the uh, array. So once it has the active so if it has the active class it means we need to here use that filter So here we need to check if um, the name is not equal to permission name. So this will remove from the array. Um, then inside the else statement, we we'll need to push the permission name.
so once it's active we add it and once we deselect or remove it let's refresh so view selected let's try report PO so if we deselect so as you can see it is also removed from the array so <coughs> next thing we need to do is in our form we have this hidden element so we'll just add that ID and then here we are going to get that ID and add the value or set the value from the permission so we'll just join them using a comma so now let's refresh so let's check so as you can see here um, we need to find that ID so as you can see the input element is updated so every time we add or remove a permission so now what we're going to do here is we'll need to go to add that PHP file and in this section going to um, update this and save the data so let's review uh, some of these code so we have this table columns um, so I think we have this mapping from our database table so let's uh, add the permissions in the mapping and then here let's just dump the data fresh let's try to add so as you can see it's inside the permissions variable um, going to do now is going to think can add directly or maybe um, check this it is for products uh, voice order so here uh, once let's add an error handler so this will check if the permissions is empty so information is empty if it is not set then we'll try to um, store them in a session so the response would be a message uh, so let's just grab that so instead of success so let's just put it directly in the variable so this will be false and the message uh, would be please make sure permission is set we'll just redirect, redirect it back to the same page so let's try so it's still added in the system so let's double check so actually we'll add the die statement so let's refresh so as you can see the error is triggered let's try again let's add so here you can see the user is not added so which is correct so now let's just try to delete some of these users and then let's use the feature let's add a user then here going to set permission that user let's add so it's added so let's refresh as you can see it is added in our database with the permission so in the next video we have this edit feature in our system so we're going to implement this